Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. So today I want to introduce you guys to lit HTML. Free your body and your mind. So what exactly is lit HTML? So lit HTML basically allows you to create HTML templates with just JavaScript. Okay. Very simple, easy, vanilla JavaScript that's it <laughs> just makes your life so much easier so let's say you wanted to append a element to another element right what will you do first of all you will have to create the node see what type of element it is put in the text that's inside of it and then from there you'll say node that append child text node and then now you will say hey document get element by id the location where you want to append this child okay i don't know about you guys but to me this is ugly this is like so much work for no damn reason especially when we already know html okay now if you was to do this with jquery eh, it's a little bit easier you say hey dollar sign p and then you say append document create text node hello mm, it's not that bad right now if you was to do this with uh react or any other framework that uses jsx it actually is easier now because now i could just come here and just create let's say a p tag and say p this is my text close the p tag then from there i basically say hey uh render this class of layout and render it to to this element right so i find the document get element by id and all i'm doing is replacing what's inside of this uh id with this text okay we are pending things right it's cool whatever who cares with a view it's almost the same thing but the the thing about it is that both with react and view you basically have to come in here and use a third party tool like webpack or gulp or babel to basically translate this this little thing here into vanilla javascript but what if you did not have to do all of this work what if there was an easier way to write syntax that's very similar to jsx but without having to compile it or transpile it, like put it through Webpack, put it through Babel, put it through a whole bunch of BS that you don't need because the browser has a lot of this features already integrated. So let's use lit HTML. Okay. All you have to do is say import HTML, render from lit HTML. From there, you say in this situation, I'm creating a function called hello template. I'm passing in an argument of name and I'm returning uh, the HTML, right? Now, as you can see, this is back ticks. So this is template literals, okay? This is part of ES6, ES 2015. And then down here, we use the function of render. We say render hello template, this function that we created up here. And then we say where we want to render this. So here is where we put in the element that we want to render this for us it's just going to render on the on the body. Now, also what's cool about this is it also does re rendering, but it does a smart re rendering. It doesn't just re render the whole div. All it does is just replaces the variable with the name. So let's say in this section, we say uh, render uh, hello template. Steve is going to say hello, Steve, right? Now, if we wanted to press a button later on and we say we want to change it to Kevin, the div is still going to be there, but the only thing that's going to change is just the area where the variable is located at. Not the whole element, just that single spot. Okay. So this is actually very proficient and it just helps you to create very cool applications, man. It just makes your life so much easier. All right, guys. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go to github.com slash codingphase.com. Now you don't need to do this. You could literally do this on Copen. You could do it wherever you want, right? But I'm going to start with my starter kit. Okay. So I'm going to download this 
make sure you give your boy a star if you use this if you find this helpful okay open up the starter kit from there we're gonna open up a new folder go to the location where I have all of my projects which is in this PC all right double click we inside of projects now we're gonna drag this folder from there to here okay next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna name this to lit HTML all right now we're gonna open up our atom now for all of you guys that are watching this I'm already expecting that you guys have Node.js installed and you have either uh, Bash Ubuntu or you already know how to use your terminal. So you must know the basics, okay? I'm not going over it. All right, so I'm gonna come here, click on File Open Folder, okay? Go to Projects, go to Lit HTML, select Folder. Okay, we are here. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do this in multiple ways. We're gonna do a npm install through here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the location of my folder, uh, cd lit html. Now what you wanna do is npm install dash dash save and put lit dash html okay it's gonna install it and add it to your project okay and the next thing that you want to do let me close this one all right is you have two ways of doing this we can come here and basically start writing inside of our first component where it says first component that js we can actually delete all of this. Okay. Save this. I'm gonna come here and do npm run watch. Okay, it's giving us an issue. So we're gonna do npm install to install all of the packages. Okay, so I post it because it might take a little while to install all of this. Ignore this that you see here. Don't worry about it. Um, the next thing that you want to do is I'm gonna click on clear and we're gonna come back into our first comp, which is our first component.js. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just gonna copy what we have here. Copy this, paste it here. Okay, and we're going to do npm run watch. Now, this starter kit already has everything set up for you. So pretty much all you have to do is just run npm run watch and everything is gonna be good. Okay, so it's gonna come here, localhost 3000, refresh this, and as you can see, it says, hello, Kevin. So you are ready to go. Now, like I said, this already has everything set up for you, meaning it has Gulp set up, it has Webpack already set up, it has everything that you need to hit the ground running. I can come here and remove this from here, change this to Hello Joe, all right? And I'm gonna show you right now, if I look over here, I save this. As soon as it compiles, it's gonna refresh the page, okay? And there you go. Now, if you don't want to use Webpack, you don't want to use Gulp, you don't want to use none of that, meaning you just want to deal with this in the browser natively without having to use uh, like a third party to helping you out with this, this is very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go to github.com slash polymer slash lit HTML. You click on here, lit HTML, click on getting started. All right, click here. And there's, like I said, there's two ways of doing this. The way how we first did it was like this, npm install lit HTML, or if you're targeting like a newer browsers 
and stuff like Chrome and Firefox and a whole bunch of the new ones that are accepting uh, module loaders on the browser, you can use this, okay? And with this, you don't even need to uh, use any type of Gulp or Webpack or any type of module loader. Like literally this works on a browser, okay? So I'm gonna show you right now. Let me comment all of this out, save this come over here to public.html go to index I can come here and basically do like this let's say script type module okay all right and now we're gonna paste this in and pretty much we could take that same example that we did before let me go get it real quick copy it from here all right and on your regular HTML you can come in and paste this in save that okay and as you can see it still says Kelvin all right or I could change this to Joe and there you go automatically you see the changes all right so it's pretty legit man it's pretty legit uh, I really like what they have with this it's so simple so easy and like even at that right like we did it here straight on the HTML file we can come here and create another file you can say like this new file uh, let's say javascript components and let's say lit basics dot js okay now i can come here take this code if i want to organize it more right come here paste this in save that and then now bring this up here put in the source say slash js slash components slash lit basics dot js okay we're gonna save that and as you can see everything's still working now currently right now we're using it directly from unpackage.com which is cool but let's say we was to go offline right we're in a situation where there's no internet etc right but we do have the files in our node modules how can we do this so the best way would be to just find the lit html okay let me see where is it lit lit okay copy this all right now let's go to our javascript i'm gonna put in a new folder node modules okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically paste this in here so i pasted the, the library of lit html okay and then now here so we can work with it uh, locally i'm gonna come i'm gonna do this i'm gonna say slash js slash node underscore modules slash lit html okay remove this from here save that go to my local host 3000 and as you can see now we are working with it directly from our files from our project okay so next thing that we're going to do all right so this is the setup we're going to continue with this i'm going to continue teaching you guys lit html how it works how you can use it for your applications and it's like i said guys it's like having jsx but without having to compile 
your code every single time like you could do this on the browser you don't have to use gulp you don't have to use webpack i can come here and literally go to my gulp file and basically just take this out comment this out be like okay comment that out take this thing from here okay and i no longer need webpack at all okay so come back over here refresh this let's do it one more time npm run watch there you go and we have everything that we need no webpack <laughs> no delays no nothing all right <laughs> hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna continue dropping more videos on this and yeah this is also part of a bigger course from my polymer course that's on my website codingface.com i'm dropping all of the videos from lit html but if you want to learn how to build components make sure you go check it out on codingface.com the polymer 3 this course. video is brought it's to you by codingface.com and all of its members make sure you go visit a website it's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects Take it from me, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com, keep it real, keep it trill.